I'm here with Kelly Scott, uh, who is a teacher at Pikeville High School, part of the Pikeville Independent School District, and she is working on some health work, and uh, and her project's called The Empty Chair. Uh, you're probably too humble to mention this, but I'm aware that you and your students have won a national award. So tell us what that national award is and then what your project is. All right. Uh, we won the Don Myers Humanitarian Award from the Developmental District of Appalachia and the ARC, the uh -huh. Appalachian Region Commission. And we were recognized for our work in making a difference in Appalachia. <clears throat> which was really, really, really nice. Um, our students have worked so hard on this. And it goes to our empty chair project. And the empty chair project is all about our drug addiction that we face in our community. And the students named it the empty chair project because if you think about it, addiction leaves an empty chair in all parts of our lives, in the classroom, at home, in church. And so they wanted to find ways to be able to reach out and, ch and make a difference. And so with their focusing on prevention, treatment, and harm reduction, they were recognized for their work that they, that they chose and that they've been doing. And how did they come up with this idea? Well, we were invited to be part of the Health Alachia Hackathon. Uh -huh. um, two of my students have actually participated in the MIT SOAR Hackathon year before last. And so being part of another hackathon, we were like, yes, absolutely, because it's so much fun. And to think that these children are our future just gives me goosebumps because they are so smart and they are so worried about the future and they're so concerned. And using their ideas and putting them into place has been the most rewarding thing I could ever think of. Well, Kelly, you, you, you just mentioned a very interesting thing that we know in this region we have an opioid crisis like a lot of rural America. And then also the loss of jobs, there's been a loss of hope in this region. Oh, yes. Despite that, based on what you're seeing with your students, how hopeful are you for the future of Eastern Kentucky? I am very hopeful. They are our future. Um, yes, you know, I, I do teach the high school level, so a lot of them are like, I want to get out of here. But then a lot of them are like, you know what, this is where I live. I want to make this a better place. Um, throughout this program, we've been able to start a Unite Club. And we already had a Teens Who Care Club, and so we focus on making our world a better place. Uh, we go out and do landscaping. We're going to do landscaping at the police department this weekend. Um, we volunteer at the animal shelter. We volunteer um, at Senior Citizen Center. These kids love this area, and they want it to be the best that it can possibly be. And they have actually, and we're really excited about this part of our project, next year, because we're lucky in our school, we have 7 through 12 in our building. And we had the D.A.R.E. program with our seventh graders and the Pikeville City Police. Working with Commissioner Philip Reed, we're gonna be able to start a Pikeville Police Panther Partner Mentor Program. So we've got juniors and seniors who are gonna be pairing up with those seventh graders. You know, talking about all the crises that they face, not just drugs, but alcohol and tobacco and bullying, being alone, all of those changes so that we hope to make our little community a better place because that's what these kids want. They want the best place that they can have and they will do anything to, to get it that way. Okay. Well, Kelly, thank you for all your work and thank you for being on our program. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.